So we are in a little town called Rotherham. It's actually quite a big town here in the UK. And it's been almost a year since we went to Entertainment World. So we're going to be diving in there today and I'm really excited because they've seen some, I've seen some wicked stuff on their Instagram and whatnot. So I've got the lav mic, so you're going to hear me talking a lot in this as well. Hopefully it's not too noisy in there. But guys, let's go. Oh, and by the way, subscribe, leave a like. Thank you. It's on free play. Uh, no, it's 20 p a go. 20 p a go, guys. Get yourselves down. I've got a bar top like this. On here? Oh, yeah, there's 134 pages. Nice. Yeah, this thing's huge. Like really? <laughs> Marvel versus Capcom. You should you should have like a competition or something, like a little like scoreboard or something, you know? That'd be wicked. Nice. Seven thousand, which is okay. what we call the, the Magnavox Odyssey 2 over here. Wow. And they're essentially like board games that have a cartridge and the cartridge tells you how to play the board game. Okay. So we're not really sure if we've got all the pieces, so as I said, we're trying to figure out what to do with them. <laughs> Just kind of check them online and see, compare yeah, and make like, sure they have got all the bits and whatnot. Like. Yeah. But we have got Love some like, of like the this. other ones that so just, you know, after a certain point, they start. Well, you're looking here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. weird. Like when they first started making these, you've got, you know, all the, just the name of the game, but then all the artwork's actually on the oh back. My God. And it's actually really nice artwork yeah, as well, that like is. I really like yeah. that. And then, like I say, after a while, I decided it's probably better to put on the more sturdy case and put the art on the front. Yes, if only Sega, Sega had the same idea with the Sega Saturn cases and gave us harder Sega Saturn cases instead of the flimsy. Yeah. They fall to bits. They did it last minute. They yeah, did eventually cardboard on them. plastic. Yeah, it was yeah. horrible. Nice. So if I could get them all like that, it'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> immaculate. Yeah. Perfect. I don't know if you've seen USA or what. And here it is on 250. Looking gorgeous. Have this. Nice. All right, the dreaded Xbox One section. Like Game Pass killed it, mate. Killed it. Although that doesn't treat me. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. Pretty cool. Nice. I'm excited for the new Assassin's Creed, by the way. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Random bits, Dino Crisis, the ultimate martial arts what simulation. E SWAT. <laughs> Limited run stuff. Always nice to see. Really nice. Even the limited run NES cases down there too. Yes. Check it out guys. I have never played the Mario Kart Live home circuit. Ever, ever, ever. Is it any good? I suspect it's you could need a lot of room obviously, but yeah. It's in here for 95 squared. Are these all your box snares? Is this? <clears throat> yep, okay. Has it? <laughs> really? Nice. Alright, we have got lots of graphic novels, comics. Really nice. Oh, well, there we go. Some second hand stuff here, guys, as well. If that's your thing. Dating back, these are in the US. Are they? No. 75 cents in the US, 40 pence in the UK. So what year they are though, which is a shame. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nino you know, Kuni board game. And an expansion pack Fallout. I've never played a Fallout board game. If you have, you need to let me know what it's like. Does this have? poster and pin badge. Let's find out. Does it have the poster and the pin badge? No. Oh, that sucks. Manual's really cool though. I like that.
a very lonely NES, but an even lonelier Crash Bandicoot 2. few PS5 games, Elden Ring, we're just debating on whether or not this will be the game of the year, or if Ragnarok is going to be the game of the year, what do you guys think? I think Ragnarok's going to take it personally, even though it's not out yet, as I film, but yeah. Alright, PS1, thankfully in alphabetical order. This looks like an old rental case. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Is it a Blockbuster one? Let's see if we can kind of find out. There's no Blockbuster marking in there. Damn it. Feed for 95. Three, is it 97? Sorry. We don't care about FIFA. Um, do we have this? Just like, obviously, the lower end titles. What else do we have? Dream Hospital is a classic. Total NBA 98. Very nice. This is a great game as well. This is a really good game. Has everybody out there played this? Let me know in the comments section, guys. Cool. Right. No way. No way. Cool. The HMV branding also. Lovely. That's good. Unbox 360 stuff. PS4. Have my rings. Ooh. Nice pink third party GameCube controller there, guys. There it is. Right, just clocked The Nomad Soul, featuring original soundtrack by David Bowie. Nice. And then an unboxed Dreamcast at 70, that's not bad, it's nice condition. And then a nice little BMU. Alright, Amiga titles. Classic title right here. Amazing. 
Uh, when you opened up the dragon. A lot of cool stuff, guys. A lot of cool stuff. Super Famicom. What do we have? Oh, go through in three. <laughs> See what we got. Final Fantasy V, eight quid. Nice, nice. Final Fantasy VI, eight quid. Oh, wow. Never seen the Japanese box art Mario Paint. Cool. Nice. Right, we're going to plough through this now. Bit of a mishmash hodgepodge of stuff. But that's actually a. I actually thought that was a. That's so yellowed. I thought it was gold. Is that gold? No, you can see. It's just a, a basic grey. Look at the difference in colour. Look at the difference. <laughs> Classic. Uh, 15 quid, 15 quid, 15 quid. All right. Got the honeybee and just your kind of import um, adapters, if you would. Very, very slim pickings on the satin. That's beautiful box art, though. That is absolutely gorgeous. I really like that. It's really nice. Um, Again, slim pickings on here. What is this? Greatest arcade hits, no manual. It looks very cheap. There's big trouble on Blobonia. Okay. Battle of Olympus, Gyro Might, Snake Rattle and Roll, Hawk Blades of Steel. We've already discussed these. Pretty cool to see. Loose carts GBA. Actually just clocked this boo sticker as well. I like that. Is there anything here that I would buy? It doesn't look like it. I have most of these anyway. Oh, it's even some engaged titles down there. That's nice to see. A lot, a lot. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then of course we have PAL SNES. Nothing major here is taking my eye. Um by stall. <laughs> Um, except for this, I'm going to give this a plug here, Family Dog. I actually rented this from Blockbuster back in the day. If you can get a copy of that boxed, you're onto a winner because it's really, really rare. I have an unboxed copy, I think. Uh, NTSC Snares. Never seen Faceball. Might get that actually. Have an NTSC Snares plus an adapter. Um, got the random bits down here. Classic titles, very common. Super Tennis, Mario Wall Stars, NBA Jam, of course the classic Street Fighter Tour. Lovely. So let's dive in to some unbox stuff. I've seen a few people talking about Xena Warrior Princess online recently. Weird that it's right here. This is a great game. This is a fantastic game. Got that boxed down in a Norwich retro game hunt. Just your kind of generic sports titles. Nice little racer. Oh wow, I've never seen this. Tom and Jerry, Fist of Furry. Nice, nice. It is freezing out there. I've just thought, I'm going to show the guys what I picked up now rather than trawl back to the lady lounge. So here's what I got. I went to CX as well, by the way. Wow, the stock in there. There'll definitely be <laughs> a YouTube short about it. But here's what I got anyway. A bit dark in my car. I do apologise. But we picked up Faceball NTSC. Pretty cool. Turns out I didn't have Family Dog. It's very hard to get boxed, but I used to rent it from Blockbuster, like I said in the video. The game itself is pretty lame, but I wanted it because I do remember playing it from my gorgeous childhood. Snagged Goman 64. This is quite expensive, I believe. It's like the Ninja Goman or something like that. Anyway, on PAL, it's very expensive, and I do have a Japanese N64. Even though I can't read Japanese, I thought it would be cool just to kind of play and feel and kind of get into. Speaking of Japanese games, here's another. I've been thinking a lot recently about Ocarina of Time and I want to play through this on my Japanese N64. So 
picked it up. The guy in the shop said that there's two versions of this. One of them is easier for speed runners as it contains a glitch. I don't know if anybody else can give me more information about that. So please subscribe. Um, massively helps if you share videos as well. Just want to say a personal thank you now to everybody that's been sharing the videos on your personal Facebooks. It's, it's really helped the growth of the channel and it gives me so much hope into moving forward. So thank you very much guys. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. I need a few seconds of your time to tell you about channel memberships. If you guys want to become a channel member, click join from the main page or the second link in the description. There are three tiers, all with different perks for you if you want to become a team member. Thanks for your time. Let's continue with the video.